Yeah. Uh, let's start moving this bread, please. Focaccia. Hands, hands, hands. Hands! Hands coming. Yes. Right, great. Uh, that'll go to 21, and that'll go to 52. Thank you. That clip from Hulu's critically acclaimed show, The Bear, which is about a fine dining chef returning home to Chicago and eventually relaunching his family's restaurant. It's gained plenty of buzz in the restaurant space for its at times too real feeling scenes. And in the one you just saw, the reel was also flat out on the tray with the tableware up for selection. The pieces are from John O. Pandolfi Designs. The tableware buzz on par with The Bear, leading us to get a closer look at what they're serving up. At Manhattan Restaurant, soaring 60 stories above New York City, the view sets the tone, both outside and in, with dishes as eye-catching as the skyline, including the stoneware they're plated on. I think it's important to showcase the food and highlight the food, and the color palettes that we choose from season to season really helps the food kind of shine on the plates. The fire 74, that's a beef medium and a bass. Which is why executive chef Justin Vogel came here, John O. Pandolfi Designs. Set in a 14,000 square foot studio in Union City, New Jersey, it's the creative process come to life. 10 pottery wheels, 12 kilns, and 16 artisans. Full place settings, mm -hmm. sweet. Producing nearly a thousand pieces of stoneware daily, all handmade. Back in the beginning, I was throwing, firing, glazing, calling the customers, doing every bit, packing. Do you walk around here ever and think back to that time? Every day. Yeah. Yeah. John O. Pandolfi started his design company about two decades ago. The studio, 10 years later. A lot of people don't think about what they're eating on. Did you always look at the plate? Uh, I guess I probably did. I think. When I think back to growing up, I, I can remember what our dinnerware looked like. But seeing it as a career took a bit of time. I got into clay because I love making functional, useful objects. I was kind of headed probably towards more of a, a gallery artist type situation, but gradually stumbled into some collaborations with restaurateurs. So it was challenging and kind of scary at the beginning. Once I realized I, I think I had a knack for it and I really enjoyed the work, then I, I doubled down and kind of really made my company's focus hospitality. His first big break came in collaborating with Will Gadara and chef Daniel Hume, first at the Nomad Hotel, then the acclaimed 11 Madison Park. So it was a pretty amazing one-two punch to get things started. And once we finished 11 Madison's dinnerware and that was all in use, and that's when we really started hearing from a lot of other chefs. The Coop collection, used for both, became the foundation of the Jano Pandolfi Designs brand. When you look at this compared to a porcelain, it's not as smooth, it's not quite as shiny. Right. Um, and gained so attention for not cool. only what it was, but also was not. For a long time, it was just white porcelain dinnerware, especially for fine dining. Yes. Before that, you didn't really see Michelin-starred restaurants or, or what would be considered fine dining restaurants using stoneware. And once chefs tried it for the first time and plated their food on it, it was kind of like, oh, I don't really want to go back to what we were using. Evidenced by a myriad of stoneware chef collaborations. This is a collaboration I did with my good friend Christina Tosi from Milk Bar. Okay. This is a cookie plate we released together that she and I worked together on this glaze finish. And over here we've got some pieces that I worked on and that we produced for Jean George's restaurant Seeds and Weeds over uh, at Tin Building. I'm very familiar. Yes. The room is really neutral and the dinnerware kind of really pops out, which is kind of neat. The company's restaurant guide, a who's who of the industry. When you turn it over, you've got the back stamp. That's Missy Pasta one of Missy Robbins' restaurants. So this is her pasta bowl. This is her pasta bowl. With you. Other chefs can use, can get it. Right. This is something we designed with her. The depth, the curve, the size of the foot, the thickness, the weight. In total, the studio has worked with more than 500 restaurants. They are chefs all able to come to Union City for a hands-on experience. Yeah, maybe another flick like Michelin star chef Justin Bogle. I've been in the restaurant industry since I was 17 years old. I'm 43 now, so I've seen a lot. And to be able to kind of dial in on Jonah's plateware and use it to bring everything to life here at Manhattan has been, been a cool experience.
This matters when it comes to a Michelin star, doesn't it? I, I believe it all matters, but I definitely believe for sure the, the plateware that we chose is a part of the story, and I think the story is when it all comes together are the things that really earn you those accolades. T, hey, yeah. come here, please. That plateware selection process brought to viewers of the FX show The Bear on Hulu, with John O. Pandolfi Designs featured this season. These plates? Um, no, let me see. This plate. What was that call like when they reached out to see if you'd be a part of that? Very exciting. Ever since the bear first came out, and everyone in here was talking about it, all of our clients were talking about it. To be honest, I really thought to myself, if they ever have a scene where they select dinnerware and we're in that, <laughs> how cool would that be? But I mean, that's what the bear gets so right. It shows the side of hospitality that's the hustle, the care that doesn't always get necessarily noticed, and the passion that goes into these projects. Not a bad marketing tool for the company, which now offers 50 shapes of stoneware with two finishes and 10 glazes, available to both professional and home chefs. But no matter how big the business, John O. Pandolfi is determined to remain loyal to its core, the art and the artisans. We've been handmade from the beginning. We always will be handmade. We'll, we'll always grow and change and evolve. I will still always have to employ a team of artisans who rely on a really diverse set of skills to make the product. Is that important to you too, that you are employing people to do this? Oh, totally, because that's why I got into it. I, I got into ceramics because I love the medium. I love the environment of a studio, of a group of people making things together, making a product that they feel excited about, whether it's an art vessel or it's an order of dinnerware for a fine dining restaurant. That's what appeals to me about, about ceramics and, and the life of, of a studio artist. So we brought some in, because you got to feel them, because yeah. some of this is about the weight. And I've become what I like to call, and what people call a plate flipper, since I've done this, yeah. because you want to look at the bottom. And that's what's happened. People would be in restaurants, they'd oh, flip nice. over, you see that it's John O Designs. So it is available online for people to buy as well, because they want what they see in the restaurant.